The issue is that if you look at the audience on the screen, actually you're not looking at their eyes. And if you look at the camera, then they feel you're looking at them, but you actually don't see them. This is the problem that Plexicam wants to solve. Let's have a look at what the product is, how it works, and who I think should make the investment to buy it. And if at the end you decide that it's good for you and you want to purchase it, then I have a 15% discount coupon that you'll find here in the description below. To test it properly, I've even taken it to my latest business trip, but more on that later. In a nutshell, Plexicam is a transparent plexiglass device that allows you to position the camera on it and set it up in the middle of your screen such that you can, at the same time, look at the audience and look at the camera lens. As the package says, Plexicam is for anyone using online video services like Zoom Teams or Google Meet. There are various models and add-ons available, Mini, Pro, Pro Plus and Max. So a couple of weeks ago, Dan from Plexicam contacts me on LinkedIn. He offers to send me a couple of their products for review. No sponsorship, no commitment to do a video, even if it'd like me to do a review of it, obviously. It's my call to give it a try. But hey, one of the most important topics on my channel is how to improve the communication during video calls. So sure, Dan, send it over to me and I'll see what I can do. Oh, it's here already. Thanks, Dan. So I open it and find three boxes, a large purple one and two smaller ones that look the same. Did they send me the same product twice? Well, let's see, but first I can't resist to the big purple box. So I start opening this one. Big box for a big product. It's the Plexicam Max, a solid plexiglass support for your large cameras like a DSLR, mirrorless, or compact photo camera. The Plexicam Max is relatively bulky. It has a mount for a proper heavy camera and a sleeve and screws that allows you to adapt the camera height to your preference. I'll try it on my big monitor in a minute, but let's open the other two boxes first. Unless I'm missing something, these two boxes look the same to me, so let's open the first one. This contains a LED light, as well as a plexiglass support and sleeve. I believe this is meant to be mounted on the camera support, so hopefully I'll find it in the other box. First thing I find in here is the mobile mount. And the there is the camera support and the sleeve. So let's get rid of the plastic. To fit your phone, you have to click on the red button and then expand the holder like this. There's an important update card telling me that the sleeve should be mounted this way. So good to know because I actually mounted it the other way around. Well, actually, this is also wrong and you'll see in a minute why. So I fixed the LED light on top, like the LED light that needs to be connected via USB to your computer. And then let's start by mounting a webcam. Let me turn the camera and see how it looks on my big monitor. Well, there are two things that actually don't look so good. The first one is the direction of the LED light that points upwards. So I must have done something wrong here. The second thing is that I don't want the camera cable to go straight up my screen. The purpose of the support of being transparent is actually that it allows me to see the audience, so I don't want a cable in the middle of it. Let's start by fixing the LED light issue. For the camera, there's actually a hole where the cable can go through. So let me dismantle the sleeve, get the cable through the hole, and then mount it back on. Now it looks better. The LED light is actually pretty good. You can control the intensity as well as the temperature of the light, making it more yellow or warmer or whiter and colder. And I'll remove the camera and give it a try with the phone. Using my phone Full HD camera as a webcam is one of my favorite applications. I do that with Camo and if you're interested in knowing more about it, I have a link for you in the description below. Your phone has a great camera and you don't need to invest money in expensive webcams. So let's mount it. Connect the phone to Camo via USB cable, and we're done. Looks good. The last test I'm doing is with the Plexicam Max. I'm using my mirrorless to record this video, so I'll mount on it a more compact Canon camera. I think it's okay, but still a bit bulky and maybe not for everyone. I think Plexicam works well on a large screen, but how about the laptop? The configuration with the phone mount takes a little bit of space on the monitor, but I think it's okay. To try it properly, I decided to take it with me to Brussels, where I'm heading for a business trip. So after packing and a very speedy flight, I'm ready to test it in my hotel room. And we all know that the light in the hotel room is really yellowish. So there are no more challenging conditions than this ones. I'm using the LED light and the iPhone 8 as a webcam connected through Camo. If I look at my phone, I'm looking in the middle of the screen, so I'm looking at my audience. And at the same time, you, now my audience, have the feeling that I'm looking right at you. The LED light also works pretty well. This is with, and this is without LED light. On my flight back, I ask myself, 
will I use Plexicam and will I recommend it to my audience? As usual, my answer is it depends. Plexicam Pro is nice in combination with your webcam, but would I use it for every call? Well, probably not. But I think it adds a great value for those important calls where you have to look perfect and where you want to make a great impact. I think you should consider it whether you're a consultant or a salesperson and you're often in contact with customers on Zoom. The LED light accessory is great if you have poor lighting at home. Most of the times we don't even realize that we have poor lighting. And if you want to make a professional impression, then this is something that you should definitely consider. I'm not saying you should go for the Plexicam LED light as a standalone. Any LED light would do it. But if you decide to go for the Plexicam support, then this would be a perfect fit. As for the mobile support, I think you should consider it if you're traveling a lot and you want to use your phone as a webcam because you don't want to rely on the bad quality webcam of your laptop. Using the phone as webcam, I think is also a very good option for a home office. I think it's a bit of a pain to use your phone as a webcam and put it up and down all the time. And maybe you need your phone also while you are in a meeting. But we all have an old smartphone and that would be a perfect use for it. Moving on to the Plexicam Max version, I think this is more of a niche product. I think it's a bit bulky and having your mirrorless camera mounted on top of it will take some space on your monitor. I think you should consider it if you're already using your DSLR or mirrorless camera as webcam. And you want to have that crisp quality for your Zoom calls. All in all, I think that Plexicam is for those of us who take care of all the details, who want to look perfect on video calls. But if you have bad audio, for example, you're using your laptop microphone or a messy background, or you're using your bad integrated laptop camera, then don't buy Plexicam and focus first on those basic things. As you've seen, your smart phone is a great Full HD camera without the need of spending a lot of money on a new webcam. So if you want to learn how to do it, watch this next video here.